Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name's Huey and I have a YouTube and Instagram beauty by Huey. I've got combo oily skin. I love talking about all things beauty. I love doing reviews for you guys. I'm obviously acne prone as well. Um, and so what I'm going to do today is actually just go through a bunch of new products um, in terms of makeup because it's been ages and I'm just randomly going out tonight. So I thought, why not? I've prepped my face with skincare and we're going to go in with this Maybelline Maybelline a Dream Urban Cover Foundation. I am in the shade Soft Tan 228. This is SPF 40 as well. Um, I still do SPF on top of this just to be on the super safe side if I'm going out at um, in the morning. It is, as you can see, a bit of a kind of tan. But it does kind of settle down a little bit as I blend it out. And because of the light I have on right now, it looks really kind of tan as well. It's not my first time using this. I've used this a handful of times. And I really, really like it. It's just super hydrating. It's long-lasting. It's not a full matte. Um, what do they describe it as? It's full coverage, but it's lightweight. It's protective. Um, I would say it's like kind of an in-between a matte and non-matte finish. Oh, it's really looking yellow in this light. So I had to jump off camera just to blend it out a little because it was going a little bit wild. But I ended up mixing the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover in Soft Tan with the Smith & Cold Cult Build Threat in the 170 Warm. And it actually turned out really nice. I'm hoping it's still kind of a dewy enough finish that I can use cream products on this. Um... I think between the two foundations, the Smith & Co. is a little bit on the matte side, so I don't know how it will go blending it out, but let's um, give it a go. I love this Flower Beauty foundation brush. It's amazing for powder and for um, powder and liquid products. So for my cheeks, oh, before I go to my cheeks, I'm actually going to put on some concealer, and I actually bought this Ordinary Concealer. So this is a new concealer. It's just been released all around the world. It comes in lots of different shades. People have said funny things about the shade range, but it's actually designed to complement their foundation range, which has, I think, three undertones, pink, yellow, and neutral, I think. Um, so in the foundations, I'm a 2.1 yellow, I think, yep, yeah, in both of the... Um, two types of foundations and so for the concealer I just watched a couple of reviews and I think it worked out really well I bought the 2.0 yellow green it's a really cute packaging it's eight mils um I think it costs like 10 Australian dollars super affordable and I just like the packaging it comes in it's nice tube formula you're not going to get any wastage um it's very very high coverage like you only need the tiniest little bit you can see the difference between my foundation and that it's kind of in between the two foundations I use um, it's definitely best applied with a brush. Let's use this one, which is not very clean at all. So I just take a little bit on the back of my hand. I use this without wearing any makeup and it actually balanced out my dark spots really, really well. I just dabbed myself in that. I mean, you can use your finger, but I don't think you're going to get as full of coverage. This is what happens when I use dirty brushes to do my makeup. There is streaks everywhere. I used to do my makeup every day pre-COVID. And then because I work in a hospital, when I started wearing masks, that just went out the door. Um, the creasing or the lines that you see is not from the, foundation, um, from the concealer. It's actually from my very, very dirty brushes. And then I'm just going to set it with a little bit of powder. I love using my Real Techniques brush to do this. Um, and my Laura Mercier translucent powder, which always comes in handy. Just tap a little bit. God, my table is such a bloody mess. I literally have nowhere to put stuff. Okay. For my brows, actually, guys, I used the Benefit um, Precisely My Brow, which I've literally been loving. I found this so hard to use when I first started using it, and so I, I bought, like, a set, and I just sold it because I was like, I just can't work with this. And it's actually really, really good once you get a hang of it. Um, 
After filling in my brows, I'm going to use this Airy Perez brow gel. It's one of their new products. Airy Perez is vegan, it's cruelty free, natural if you like that word. I personally don't like that word that much. Um, and it's just a really nice auburn color for my brows. It holds it up all day. Um, and it's just, you can use it on its own. You don't have to use a pencil with it. I really, really, really like it. You can see how just straight those brows are. Love. Time for my cheeks so we've got the mecca max stick so mecca is a brand here in australia um it's similar to like sephora around the world you guys around the world especially in the us canada have sephora you've got everything in there all your big brands we've got mecca and sephora for some random reason um i've got the shades um medium and pinch here i just bought pinch today i have used medium before what i like to do is just warm it at the back of my hands i don't use a product on my hands um i actually apply straight to the cheeks i'm gonna do this today i don't know how pinch is gonna go to be honest it's looking a bit light already and i'm just gonna buff it out together and this just creates a really when you blend it out together like this after you apply it creates a really flawless finish like that Actually, that blush turned out quite nicely. Very natural. And can you tell I'm fully zooming through this? Because normally, if I'm doing my makeup properly, it takes me a lot longer. Get a bit of highlight in there, blend it out. This is a Nasho brush. It's awesome. It's like it's so cheap. Oops. <laughs> um. Okay, mascara. My favorite, favorite mascara is a big colossal. And this eyelash color is from Muji. Muji is like a Japanese brand. This thing cost me like seven dollars. I'll be ready in like two minutes. Seven dollars. And look at how much it lifts my Asian lashes. And this mascara is like my favorite. I think I already told you guys. I think I already said that. Look at it. Oh my god. It's actually like the only mascara I've ever bought twice. Maybe we'll just powder my face a little. I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier again. I use a very kind of just fluffy brush. If I want to go for a really more matte look, then I might use a bigger compact brush like this. This one's from Morphe. It's the E1. We've got the MAC Prep, Prep and Prime, which I use for all my uh, matte, matte lip products. Doesn't work as well with creamy lipsticks. This is a well lip pencil. And I actually bought a new lipstick today. This is a Sultry Move MAC. It's a Powder Kiss range. I've not tried the Powder Kiss range yet. It's like a beautiful matte finish as opposed to their other packaging. See the old... Well, the matte range, this is their Powder Kiss. Well, sultry Move. I bought this to replace my well because my well is running out. use some setting spray to finish it off and otherwise that's all finished that was done in like 10 minutes probably even less when I edit this down hope you guys enjoyed it super quick I love all these products that I've used first impressions and I've used a couple of times um, some old and new faves I'll put all the links in the description below and head over to my Instagram if you want some more real-time stuff. I post more over there. See you guys.